when you look at somebody like Chris Jones and Nisa, it's obvious. They're making good money together. Even when they broke up, they, they were both like, yeah, we're going to still work together. We're making this paper. That's what's up. I fucks with that. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, John Cannon. And welcome to the first episode of Random Topic Tuesdays. But before I get into what that is, I'm doing a giveaway, a $30 Chipotle gift card this Friday, and you can enter on all of the videos this week. There'll be five videos, you have five chances to win. All you have to do is comment anything. You could say, the itty bitty titty committee couldn't even kick it with me. Subscribe to the channel and like the video and you're entered to win. Make sure you do that and you're entered to win a $30 Chipotle gift card. It'll be a different price every single week. Maybe just some good cash. Maybe if you win and you're from the UK, a Nando's gift card or some shit like that. But you understand what I'm saying. So, I'm trying to get my lighting right. It's just not really working out. I ain't no pro at this or nothing, but y'all work with me. This Tuesday, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the topic, but also what I want y'all to do is give me suggestions for what you want to see next Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna do a random topic Tuesday because sometimes I just like to get in front of the camera, run my fucking mouth. This Tuesday in particular is gonna be about marriage and marriage in general and marriage in the fitness community, relationships, all that shit. You feel me? So let's get right into it. Inspired me to make this video is the Chris Jones and Denise situation. They together, they're like the YouTube, the longest lasting YouTube relationship in terms of one of them is a YouTuber and the other one is very well known for being that YouTuber's girlfriend. Then they break up, they get back together. Then there's a $50 billion ring on her finger. Chris out here looking happy. Denise out here looking happy. Let me just give you my thoughts on marriage. First of all, uh, I got 68 more carbs to hit. This has 68 carbs in it. It's a bagel. Blueberry bagel. I need some water. Why well, drink water when I can drink a diet Mountain Dew? Uh, oh. We live in a country where to me, the only reason people get married is for social stigma. It's just a fact. All right, bitch. If it was just you and your significant other on earth, just y'all two, would you still want to get married? Hmm? No more society. You still want to get married? Hmm? Secondly, and all up until now still, in this society in today's times, usually, usually, most of the time, the only person who benefits from getting married is the woman. And this is something that no matter who I'm dating, no matter who I'm talking to, I let be known. If you can't improve the quality of my life, I'm not marrying you. It's not gonna be a one-sided deal. And I don't understand why it always is. Why is it always a one-sided deal? Why is it always she is making a come up because he put a ring on her finger? Uh, I don't think that's fair. That girl, that woman, she's attracted to you because of who you are, how you carry yourself, your lifestyle, all that. Say you got your own spot, you drive a BMW, you know what I'm saying? You go out to eat when you wanna go out to eat, you dress how you wanna dress, because you work hard, because you save up your money, because you make the right moves. And she's attracted to that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with her being attracted to that. But at the same time, if she thinks she gonna be with me, she thinks she gonna be with me. She need to be driving what she wanna drive, eating what she wanna eat, living where she wanna live. Here's how it sounds to me. I'm gonna marry you. Not like you're gonna, it's not like, it's not like she's gonna get married to a guy that drives a BMW and expect him to buy her a Toyota. So what I'm trying to say is if you, if you're, if you're living nice, you're living large, you marry that woman, she gonna want, it's not like she, if you, if you don't buy her a BMW, you switching up. You know what I'm saying? My policy, no matter who I'm talking to, I'm like, look, if we can't improve each other's life, marriage ain't happening. And if everybody started thinking like that, I don't think marriage would happen too often. 
I'm not saying you have to be equal with the person you're married to, although that would be ideal from a monetary standpoint. And I'm not talking about a woman who can cook for you and rub your toes when you get home from work. No, I can pay Ling Ling to rub my toes. I can cook for myself. What you think, single men just out here hungry? And getting their foot rubbed? Is that what you think? You think we just out here just <sighs> scavenging, can't eat? What is, I don't understand why people act like a woman cooking for you is, I don't know if y'all mamas didn't teach y'all how to cook. I don't know if y'all mamas ain't teach y'all how to clean. I don't know about none of that, but I can live all by myself. I mean, I guess it's a perk if the girl can cook, but to put a ring on your finger? Cause you can, you know, sear up some chicken breast? Not me. When you look at somebody like Chris Jones and Denise, it's obvious. They're making good money together. Even when they broke up, they, they were both like, yeah, we gonna still work together, we making this paper. That's what's up, I fucks with that. But if your situation ain't, y'all ain't making each other money or y'all ain't making money and bringing it to each other, there's no need to get married. And if y'all get a divorce, it's over. She taking your money, your kids, everything you ever worked, what? I ain't signing that contract. So let me explain it like this. Imagine a company came to you and said, hey, Joe, um, here's a contract. I want you to sign this contract. Contract says for the rest of your life, you need to be devoted to me. Don't you talk to no other companies, okay? And why am I signing this? Well, you're signing this because your mom told you to and your dad did too, and they told you to do it on TV too. So that's why you're signing this. All right, what happens if I do talk to another company? Um, we're gonna take half of everything you've ever worked for in your entire life. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And why should I sign this again? No other reason than the fact that you're supposed to. And then you sign that contract, and then that's it, that's the it. I, you, you see how stupid that sounds? I couldn't even really get that out just now. That sounds so stupid. Why would you, now if a company came to you and said, hey, how you doing? My name's uh, Company B. This company, we want you to sign the same contract, but, but, we are gonna include $100,000 into your life every year for the rest of your life, and then we're gonna retire with you and we can share our retirement with you, with yours. Then you're more inclined to go, okay, I mean, I'm cool, I'm cool with that contract. I feel better with that contract. I'll sign that contract. That's all I'm saying, like, would you sign that contract if a company said they're gonna cook for you every morning, but if they wanted to, there's no real clause in the contract that say they, they gonna cook for you. Like, they might be mad at you, so they may not cook for you. Like, cooking isn't enough. Maybe cooking or maybe cleaning isn't enough. What if that company gets 20 years down the road, get comfortable not, not cooking every Friday? Then what? Now you, now you messed up out of your contract. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna look at it from that point. So that's why it's kind of like trivial to me. Like if you can't improve my life at the same time me improving your life, why? Why would we get married? Why would I sign that contract? This doesn't, doesn't make sense to me unless we're making each other money or we're making money over here and bringing each other money. That's the only, that's the money. That's the money is the only way. That's, that's the end. I appreciate you guys for watching. Comment down some new stuff. I'm not gonna do my normal outro because this isn't a normal video. All I'm gonna say is bye!